Welcome back to my channel for another video and today's video is going to be my March favorites right now it's April but that's how everybody goes they do the previous month and the beginning of the next month so that's what I'm gonna do I started filming a few minutes ago and ran out of space on my other memory card I've been having issues uploading I've been literally everything that could go wrong is going wrong so let's hope we get through this video it uploads with no problems and I can get it up on I can edit it get it up on YouTube worry free so without ado without further ado let's get into this video and I just have a list of my favorites so I'm not sitting here going um and then it's a million things to edit out because I'm not that good yet but the first thing I'm gonna start with I mentioned I've been wearing a combination of two foundations <laughs> excuse my dog he hears traffic and he is going crazy in the living room but I've mentioned I've been wearing a combination of two foundations and people always seem to ask what it is and it is the Lori oh, I can't even talk. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup and the YSL Touche Clot. In the L'Oreal one, I'm the shade Cool Nut Brown Cocoa 7 C ooh, C7 8 Cool. And this is a bit darker than my skin tone. And I wouldn't say it's cool, it's more neutral. And this one is a bit lighter than my skin tone, and it's extremely golden. They're both luminous, dewy type foundations, but I really just mix them for the color. It doesn't really change the formula of either one. They're both, L'Oreal makes both of these, so they're basically the same thing. The only thing that differentiates is the color, the color assortment from the lines, and... This might have a few more, like, a bit more of skin enhancing ingredients. But when it all boils down to it, they're basically the same thing. It's just your preference. Like, I had this one for years and didn't use it because I initially tried a different formula. And I was in love with it. And when I finally bought it, they had changed the formula. And I went in Sephora yesterday, and they changed the formula again. So they're always changing the formula of this foundation. And sometimes the color changes with it, so that's why I ended up with a weird color. I think I bought it in the VIB sale like two years ago, and I'm just getting around to using it. But, amazing combo, I love it. And I'm... And my skin type is oily, by the way, so. This combo lasts all day, and I don't look like a grease ball by the end of the day. So people who are, like, really scared to try certain foundations and they really want to try it, but they think it's not for your skin type, you can make anything work for you, honestly. You just have to play around with it and, like, trial and error and learn. Like, I used matte foundations that made me look like a grease ball at the end of the day and I've used luminous ones where that lasts all day and I don't look oily at all so it's just all trial and error with makeup my next favorite is an eyebrow product if you know me you know I hate doing my eyebrows I will wear bangs Let me go back. I used to wear bangs and I didn't do my eyebrows or put foundation on my forehead. Don't ask why I did it. I don't I don't have a decent explanation for why, but I just never got the hang of doing my eyebrows and I hated to go get them threaded or waxed and I was very scared. But now I'm starting to get them threaded more regularly. I think I've went two or three times for the year already. That's better because it's the last year I went like twice in January and then in December. 
yeah so basically but now I'm going more often and that really helps with being able to fill in your eyebrows because I used to have very thick bushy eyebrows but they've been threaded a lot thinner than they used to be and they're still kind of full so it's really easy to fill in but I've been using the Anastasia powder I've tried the Brow Wiz everybody loves it I can't get the Brow Wiz to work for me I've tried the Dip Brow I'm too scared with it so it has like no pigmentation when I use it and it's just like just using extra time in my makeup routine to not even see a difference and then I just go under with concealer and basically the concealer is what helps my brows look more cleaned up but the dip brow does nothing for me but this have helped me be able to get my brows to look a little more flaky I'm still working on it I just for maybe the two, last two weeks or so I just picked it up and really been getting it to work for me and I just I use the shade ebony and I only really use a darker half I've never really used the lighter shade of brown most people would use that to fill like the front of their brow and use a dark on the tail end but I just use a dark one throughout the whole thing because my hair is my natural hair color not the dye my natural hair color is pretty much like pitch black so I just use a darker side and I've been using it with the number seven brush with the little spoolie and angled thing on the end and my next favorite of the month honestly of the last what is it January, February, March the last three months I talked about this in my drugstore haul and I have nothing bad to say about this I love it it's a lot of people been saying it it's not good for oily skin again you have to make your products work for you if you want to use something you can use it this I used it on, my, on its own today by accident and my makeup doesn't look that bad but I usually use it in conjunction in conjunction with the benefit professional is it professional or pores no more it's professional benefit professional primer which I used to not really like by itself. That made me look greasy by itself. And this makes some people look greasy by itself. But together it keeps me matte all day. I don't know what it is. But this with the Benefit Professional smooths out my pores. <laughs> makes my makeup last. What are you doing? I'm sorry. It's just the best duo. And I thought I had a Benefit Professional with me here. But... That's a very popular primer. It's more to hide pores and fine lines. It's not the best oil controlling primer. But together, if you use powders and use this with that, you'll be good to go all day. Because I'm usually very oily and I used that duo yesterday. My makeup looked amazing. It was raining. And my makeup didn't start to get oily till like 11 o'clock at night when I was getting ready to take it off. So that tells you something. And I got ready at like 7 something in the morning. So it lasts. And my next favorite, speaking of powder, is this baby right here. I don't know. Will it even focus? But this is the Pretty Pink Powder by Ben Nye. It's a translucent powder. I got it for $7.99 at Ricky's. I just got the small size because I didn't know if I was going to like it because I have the banana powder in the bigger size and I wasn't a fan of it and I didn't want it to go to waste again but I ended up I thought it was just going to be like a cute pink powder to keep on my vanity in all honesty. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do but I use this every time I do my makeup now and it's just the best powder for me. Most people would use like a yellow or a white powder. I don't know what it is about the pink one, but it just goes for my skin tone so much better. Like the yellow one leaves like a ghostly hue. And this is ne isn't necessarily warm or anything, but I just feel it works better than a translucent powder and it works better than a yellow powder. It just, 
I love it and I recommend it to everybody because it's not like a bright it's not bright so it's not like it's, you're gonna see it on your skin tone unless I don't know if you use a very wet concealer which I use very liquidy concealers and it it still doesn't cause a problem so this stuff is amazing I put it all over my face I bathe in it and it just helps with the overall flawless look of make of your makeup the other two products I think yeah I think it's the last for makeup is two lip balms both of them I believe was from past glossy boxes this one is the brand lollipops Paris I think and I love this one to wear to put on before I start doing my makeup so when I take it off and I put on a matte lipstick or liquid lipstick it'll stay on all day and it won't look chapped or cakey or anything like this is amazing for that and it kinda smells like dessert it has a really nice smell and I'm almost out of it and I think it's the only place you could buy it is on glossybox.com directly from this vendor I'm not sure but I'm gonna look into that because I really love it and I don't think this was gonna be anything special like it looks like a plain old chapstick it's called naked lips peppermint 99% organic 100% natural organic lip balm and it's just a minty regular lip balm but I used usually put this on at night before I go to bed and I wake up in the morning my lips will I have to will be really soft and kind of plump but I guess the peppermint helps with that because the peppermint flavor stays on pretty much the entire time it's on your lips it doesn't really like some lipsticks the peppermint will go away or lip glosses or anything the peppermint scent and tingling will go away it doesn't really tingle but the peppermint taste stays my favorites I was starting to talk about candles from Bath and Body Works if you know me I hate floral fragrances and I've always always said I've hated florals but then I came across Lilac Blossom and that became my favorite candle ever and I would buy a million of them if I could and then just recently I decided to burn Amsterdam which is another floral it's tulips and windmills I don't know what windmills are supposed to smell like but tulips that's the main thing here and I just bought it because I liked Amsterdam I wasn't I didn't think I was gonna be crazy about the smell but it honestly smells so good it smells like a clean home like it's not strong floral it just smells fresh and clean like if you just cleaned your home from top to bottom and did all your laundry and just there's not a piece of dirt in sight that's what this smells like like just fresh open like kind of like I don't know it kind of reminds me of like a farmhouse like with just big open windows and doors and I guess what that's where the windmills come in like the air I don't want to say it smells like air but it just smells very good and I suggest you try it when Bath and Body Works has another sale. I think I got this one when they were doing the $10 sale. And I just burned it a couple days ago. And I decided I, I liked it so much that I went and exchanged one of the candles I had at home that I wasn't crazy about. I forgot which one it was. And I exchanged a marshmallow fireside because I have too many of them. And it's not even winter, so I don't know why I have that many, but I just thought I'd get a springier scent, and it's a different color, but it's the same exact fragrance. It's Amsterdam, and on this one it's just called Spring Tulips, on that one it's called Tulips and Windmills, because that was from the Destination Collection, and I guess this is the Spring Collection, but it's the same thing, and it smells great, and I suggest you try it. My other favorites... where I know like look at this giant bottle I swear 90% of what I consume this month ginger ale like 
or towards the end of the month I should say like I was being an emotional wreck and I couldn't eat anything I couldn't keep anything down and basically I just kept myself going with just ginger ale because it's the only thing I could keep down and there's not much more I could say like usually when you're sick and your parents tell you to drink ginger ale you're like what's that gonna do when you just drink it anyway but for some reason it actually helped my other favorite and I'm gonna be so basic for this so basic but workout pants I've been wearing gym pants non-stop with a big chunky sweater and some sneakers like that's been my go-to outfit for months honestly like that's all I've been wearing whether I go to the gym that day or not and it's it's honestly a problem but they're so comfortable and for some reason this material actually keeps me warm so don't judge people who wear leggings because they're very comfortable and that's all I gotta say for that and I've also been enjoying sports bras I finally found some that fit well these ones are from forever 21 so take a look in there I might do a workout clothing haul or lookbook or something I don't know if anybody wants to see that like somebody ain't here yet you know but we'll see why did I just my face just went into Cardi B mode that wasn't cute but but yeah workout clothes